Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment, moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health questions, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have questions about formulations or comments about any of the longevity products or Truth Skin Health products, or if you just want to share a success story, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Jeffy products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to uh, join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well, brightsideben, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com and take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel. If you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, thinning skin, aging skin, acne blemishes, or you just want an overall skin tonic, and if you want to do skin exfoliation or skin peel treatments at home, retinol is your go-to. Retinol, uh, Truth Retinol 5% gel is made with 5% retinol and a big old dose of vitamin C. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, emulsifiers, surfactant, oils, or silicones in any of our Truth Treatment products. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You shouldn't have to pay for ingredients that don't do anything for your skin. And 90% plus of the ingredients in most skincare products don't do anything for your skin. They're just in there to sell you products, and that's not fair, folks. That's why I came up with my Truth Skin Health products. You can check out all the Truth Skin Health products, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol, 5% Gel, as well as our Skin Health blog at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open, and try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. We have been talking about the connective tissue and its relationship to health and disease and to aging and to beauty and to the structure of the body, the posture of the body, as well as to general enjoyment of life, schwa de vif. The connective tissue is about how we live our lives from a physical perspective. We have control over our body via the connective tissue because the connective tissue is largely in our, um, in our control. We can do a lot to help build our connective tissue, to strengthen our connective tissue, to loosen our connective tissue, to hydrate our connective tissue. The connective tissue is the system that, that uh, links and weaves all the cells and tissues and structures and organs in the body into one homogenous whole, although it is about much more than connection. The connective tissue represents nourishment, it represents protection, it represents detoxification, and it represents oxygenation, and it represents energy. Connective tissue is the system in the body that energizes us. This is why first thing in the morning, you want to energize or stimulate your connective tissue by stretching, by movement, by getting on a rebounder, by touching your toes, by doing jumping jacks. Just moving your body helps generate an electrical charge in, in the connective tissue. The connective tissue is electrical wiring. 
as it flexes and as it stretches and as, it's, as it moves, electrical energy is generated. And because the connective tissue electrical energy requires hydration, there's a very important relationship between water in the connective tissue and, and uh, the flow of electrical energy. Drinking a couple glasses of water first thing in the morning can also help. Drink a couple of glasses of cold water first thing in the morning, do some jumping jacks or get on your rebounder or even just touch your toes a few times. Facial connective tissue, the facial fascia, I like saying that, the facial fascia is especially significant and you can uh, move your mouth into a, a yawning kind of exercise, just uh, open your mouth really wide into a yawn. That can help energize the connective tissue in the face. So can opening your eyes really wide like when you're surprised or just massaging around your eyes. That can also help generate electrical energy in the face. When we're tired, a lot of times we're tired in our face. And this is understandable because we, we, we tend to tense our face. Some of us go through our whole lives tensing our facial muscles. If you have a problem smiling in pictures or if you ever look at pictures and you see there's kind of a weird smile that people have or an awkward type smile, a lot of that has to do with tension in the face. So massaging the face, massaging around the eyes, massaging the mouth and the jaw can be particularly beneficial for energizing the body, energizing the face, energizing the whole body first thing in the morning. This is why little kids will naturally rub their eyes when they wake up from the nap. They're generating an electrical charge or they're stimulating an electrical charge in the connective tissue around the eyes. This relationship between the connective tissue and energy is also the reason for the mysterious and unexplained link between the connective tissue or the health of the connective tissue and uh, a, a condition called chronic fatigue syndrome. Actually, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome are thought to be the same disease. Connective uh, fibromyalgia is obviously a connective tissue problem. It involves the fibers of the connective tissue along with the muscle fibers. And there's a great mystery in the world of medicine about the relationship between chronic fatigue syndrome and, and uh, connective tissue disease. Doctors, a lot of doctors think it's the same issue. Reading from the journal Seminars in Arthritis and Rheumatism, this is from December 2010, fatigue is a, frequently, a frequent and clinically relevant problem in Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Ehlers-Danlos Ehlers Syndrome is a classic connective tissue disease and it's associated with fatigue. Again, we see this relationship between connective tissue and fatigue or connective tissue and energy. All this makes sense when we understand the body as an electrical system and the connective tissue as the electrical wiring. In my opinion, one of the most tragic aspects of, uh, of Western medicine's arrogant chauvinistic stance on the electrical nature of the body and on energy medicine as some kind of woo-woo, new age, unscientific science, or non-science, if you will. One of the most tragic aspects of this, this misguided opinion on energy medicine is the fact that it misses a golden opportunity to understand disease at its most fundamental level, the energetic level. And even worse, it represents a failure to address diseases and the unfortunate patients who have them at the most fundamental healing levels. One scientist who's really taken a stand for energy medicine is a gal named uh, Dr. Mei Wan Ho, and she's written a couple really neat books. They're somewhat difficult to read. One is called The Rainbow and the Worm. If, you, if you're a little bit technically minded and you want some super, super good information, read The, the Rainbow and the Worm. She's got another book. Uh, I'll have to get you the title of that one. I forgot the name of it. Um, her name is Mei Wan Ho, M-A-E-W-O-N-H-O. She's a British biochemist and she's a British geneticist. She also writes about genetics. She writes about uh, the failure of the genetic model and how epigenetics is really where it's at. That is nutritional and environmental uh, triggers for the genetic mechanism. That is epigenetics is the idea that we don't have genetic determinancy as much as we have nutritional and environmental aspects that determine our genetic health. Anyway, Dr. Mei Wan Ho also writes a lot about the energy body and about electricity. And she's written a lot about this idea that uh, the, the connective tissue is actually an energetic system. And she's got some really neat things to say. I'll tell you about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. We're back on the 
right side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls in the bottom of the hour, as we, all, as we always do on the bright side, 844-236-6010. I want to remind you that my good friend Melissa Galladay and Rebecca Kozak, her associate, Rebecca Kozak, do calls every Tuesday, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. on various longevity subjects and health subjects. Melissa is a nutritional pharmacist like myself. Uh, she's a registered pharmacist, and I've known her for many years. Melissa is, uh, let's see, she's doing phone calls here every Tuesday. You want to dial 408-638-0968, 408-638-0968, meeting ID 579-044-9276. That's 579-044-9276. If you're doing the longevity business or you're thinking about doing the longevity business, Melissa knows a lot about the products, and she knows a lot about pharmacy, and she knows a lot about health and nutrition, and she weaves it all together every Tuesday, uh, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Again, the phone number is 408-638-0968, and then you uh, punch in meeting ID 579-044-9276. Our number today, 844-236-6010. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I also have a YouTube channel, by the way, that I've, uh, I've been posting YouTube videos on. And you can just Google Pharmacist Ben in YouTube and you get a bunch of, actually, you got, there's zillions of videos of me doing presentations as well as various, uh, various subjects where I'm just looking into my webcam. I did one yesterday on brain waves, alpha waves and beta waves and delta waves and and uh, theta waves in their relationship to good health. And you can just Google Pharmacist Ben, uh, YouTube and Pharmacist Ben. You'll get a bunch of stuff. All right. Let's see here. Where was I? Oh, Dr. May Wan Ho. So Dr. May Wan Ho, she's a geneticist from the UK, but she writes a lot about the electrical nature of the body. One of my all-time favorite books uh, about the connective tissue, about health in general, about science, uh, about the science of the body, the technology of the body is the rainbow and the worm. It is an absolute absolute classic. It is a little bit difficult to read. It's not, not for the average layperson type reader who just wants uh, general health information. But if you're a little bit, if you're interested in all this stuff about connective tissue, it is absolutely fascinating. And her second book is called Living Rainbow H2O, Living Rainbow Water. And this is about the relationship of water and connective tissue. And it's got a really neat explanation of the nature of structured or crystalline water. As we've been talking about, water is not, there's not just one kind of water. There's actually a fourth state of water. We know water can be ice. We know water can be steam. We know water can be liquid, but there's actually a fourth state of water. And this fourth state of water is crystalline water, crystal water. Crystalline just means it has an organized structure, a coherent structure, and this allows it to conduct electrical energy. When water interacts with the connective tissue, it becomes crystalline, it becomes structured, and it becomes a very integral part of the electrical nature or the electrical flow or the flow of electrical energy through the connective tissue. So anyway, Dr. Maywan Ho, uh, she is, uh, has written a lot about the relationship of acupuncture to uh, acupuncture and connective tissue to energy. In other words, acupuncture is being an energy phenomenon. This is kind of interesting because the mainstream doesn't buy into acupuncture. Mainstream actually thinks it's, uh, finds acupuncture to be somewhat fraudulent. Uh, there's a website called the National Council, or a website put out by the, an organization called the National Council on Health Fraud. According to the website, this is a private agency that focuses on, quote, health misinformation, fraud, and quackery, unquote. Um, anyway, right off their website, they call acupuncture an unproven modality of treatment based on primitive, and this is a quote, based on primitive and fanciful concepts of health and disease that bear no relationship to present scientific knowledge, unquote. And then they continue on saying, quote, due to a com uh, the results of acupuncture are, quote, due to a combination of expectation, suggestion, conditioning, and other psychologic, psychological mechanisms. These are boneheads with a capital B who know nothing about the connective tissue, the electrical nature of the connective tissue, and they would be very well advised to read anything by Dr. Mei Wan Ho on the connective tissue and its electrical nature and the relationship between the electrical nature and the health of the body. Acupuncture works with the connective tissue. It works with the electrical nature of the body. In the old days, and by old days, I'm talking 3,000, 4,000 years ago, they called it the meridians. 
and the meridians are nothing more than the energy reflection of the connective tissue. This is from Dr. Maywan Ho's article, The Acupuncture System and the Liquid Crystalline Collagen Fibers of the Connective Tissue. Quote, the acupuncture system and the DC, that is direct current, body field detected by Western scientists live in the liquid crystalline collagen fibers that make up the bulk of connective tissue. That is, the electricity is in the connective tissue. Bound water, they call that, by the way, EZ water. I love that term, EZ water. That stands for electrical zone or exclusion zone water. Bound water on collagen fibers provides conduction pathways for rapid intercommunication throughout the body, enabling the organism to function as a coherent whole. The liquid crystalline continuum mediates hyperreactivity to allergens, that is immune problems, folks, and the body's responsiveness to different forms of subtle energy medicine. It constitutes a body consciousness working in tandem with the brain consciousness of the nervous system, and that's Dr. Unquote, that's Dr. May Wan Ho. The connective tissue is a brain. It's an information processor. It's electrical, and it is linked intimately to the health of the body, and it, is, it represents the major mechanism of acupuncture. So now we have scientific base, a scientific basis for how acupuncture works. It is not quackery, it is not suggestion, it is not expectation or conditioning or psychological mechanisms as, uh, as per the National Council on Health Fraud. The energy body is like a skeleton of energy. It's like a framework of energy. You can think of it like an electrical skeleton. Picture a skeleton of electrical energy, a framework or a scaffolding of electricity that runs through the body. And by the way, via something called the photoelectric effect, which is the, uh, the relationship between electricity, electrical energy, and photon energy, light energy, this is actually a light body. If, you, if you've ever heard the term the light body in New Age parlance, this is what it's about. The light body is the electrical energy. This is science, folks. This is not new age, woo-woo, airy-fairy. This is hardcore science. The light body is a reflection of the electrical body which runs through the connective tissue. The photoelectric effect tells us that light energy and electrical energy are the same. They go back and forth. So we have a light body, we have an electrical body, we have an energy body, and this is hardcore science. And it's, uh, the physical manifestation of this energy body is the connective tissue. This this fiber optic skeleton, I love this idea, that we have a light body skeleton which the tissue, the, the, the physical material body hangs on. This light, body, uh, the, uh, this light body scaffolding is literally made of electricity and it uses a very interesting biological wiring to conduct itself. The connective tissue, the collagen, the, electro, uh, the extracellular matrix. And from that point, the electrical energy gets physically manifested as the connective tissue, and from that point, the cells and the tissues and the organs arise from that electrical energy from which they are nourished, oxygenated, electrified, and sustained, as well as detoxified. All right, got so much more to say here about the connective tissue, the electrical nature of the body, acupuncture, fascia, chronic fatigue syndrome, but we will do that in the coming days on The Bright Side. We've got your phone calls coming up next. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang tight. We'll get to your calls here in just a moment. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com and take a specially long look at our connective tissue building retinol 5% gel. Retinol, that is vitamin A and vitamin C are your choice, probably the only, really significant anyway, connective tissue building active ingredients that you could put on top of your skin. This accounts for much of the mechanism, um, the main mechanism anyway, for uh, retinol and vitamin C's well-known anti-aging benefits, although you will get some nice antioxidant protection from vitamin C as well. Vitamin C is also involved in the stimulation of moisture factors, so using topical vitamin C is a great way to really actually, truly soften and moisturize the skin, not just topically or superficially, but by driving or stimulating the production of moisture factors out of the skin. You can find all our Truth Treatment products at truth, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. 
from uh, the uh, University of Eastern Finland, a study of 2,500 fin Finnish men aimed to test a suggested link between the intake of cholesterol and cognitive decline in both the general population and in folks who are especially genetically, anyway, at risk for dementia. It turns out that moderate egg consumption may boost brain functions. That's according to the study from the University uh, of Eastern Finland. Eggs, as we've said many, many times on this program, are a true power food, and I am talking the egg yolk specifically. The, the, there's a lot of good protein in the egg white, certainly, but the real mother load of information is in the yolk. When you eat an egg, you're eating a cell. All disease is cell disease. When you eat a cell, an egg cell, that's really what an egg is, an egg cell, you're getting everything you need, everything you need to build your own cells. And of all the stupid things you hear from the medical model, and there are a lot of stupid things, nothing is dumber than the idea that you should be limiting or restricting or not eating eggs and just eating the whites. If you do eat eggs, just eating the whites. Here's another stupid thing you hear from, do stupid thing you hear from doctors, and that involves vitamin K. If you're on a blood thinner or after you had surgery, they will tell you not to eat broccoli. They'll tell you not to eat kale. They'll tell you not to take vitamin K supplements because they believe that vitamin K is involved in blood clotting, and it is involved in blood clotting. But it's not like it's a magical coagulation vitamin, like you take vitamin K and your blood automatically clots. That's not how it works. The body, you, vitamin K is not a drug. Drugs work by just turning things on and turning things off. Nutrients support healthy biochemistry. It's a completely different mechanism. So if your doctor told you not to eat broccoli after you had surgery or if you're on a blood clotting medicine, he's a bonehead, flat out. Quote me. Not only is vitamin K not, not a coagulation or a blood clotting switch, but it's also involved in a lot of other things. According to the American Journal of Hypertension, Vitamin K is very important for reducing arterial stiffness, which is associated with heart disease. This is a quote from the study published uh, just, just uh, earlier this month. Quote, our findings, from, our, our findings form the basis of further investigation into the role of vitamin K supplementation for reducing arterial stiffness in type 2 diabetes. This was a study that was done on diabetics. Nonetheless, vitamin K is very important for vascular function in general. If you don't eat broccoli and you don't eat kale and you don't supplement with vitamin K, you're not going to get the benefits. Vitamin K2 is the ideal form, and you want about 5,000 micrograms a day, or anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 micrograms a day of vitamin K2. And make sure you're eating your broccoli and your kale, both good sources of vitamin K. All right, let's go to 844-236-6010 uh, is our number. Let's go to John, who's been holding on forever here. Thanks for uh, calling, John. What's going on, man? Uh, it's worth holding on, is, uh, uh, Ben, and also I've got broccoli and kale right in my... Um my nice. refrigerator along with my own sauerkraut that I make. So. Oh, nice, John. Good deal. What's going on? How can we help you? Well, uh, you brought up this doctor with the acupuncture and, and um, the electrical parts, and, and I remember hearing a gentleman named Clint Ober, uh, I believe, and he um, uh, helped uh, in developing the information regarding earthing or grounding. Oh, your yeah. Body. I'm going to be talking about that earthing. That's a very important subject. That, well, the listeners, the one that he had tell the, the listeners, uh, tell the listeners about earthing real quick before you go on, John. It has to do with making contact with the earth, uh, yeah. which we don't do uh, with our feet. Uh, we foot. have nerve endings there, and it uh, neutralizes the or balances out the um, positive and negative charge in our body. And, right. Uh, the earth is constantly generating electrical energy, and the way nature works is we're supposed to walk barefoot, and that electrical energy that comes out of the earth goes right through your feet, through the connective tissue, into your body. Negative ions, actually, is what they call them. One reason why animals are usually healthy. Uh, one reason. Always, that's right. Uh, walk but, barefoot. Uh, right. And then uh, you talked about the acupuncture. Um, there's, uh, uh, there's a doctor up here in, in northern Michigan, Dr. Um, Richard Ulrey, at emineral.info that talks about um, the, he's an acupuncturist and a chiropractor and a physicist, but he also has uh, written, a, had a book written about the elements, and um, boron is something that's lacking in our body. He also brought up a fact one time that I didn't know that fluoride, or, or floss, has fluoride in it, and you have to, to avoid that, you have to get mm. non-fluoridated floss. That's right. I don't know if, did you yeah, know that? Some, uh, I know that some dental floss comes with fluoride in it, and I definitely stay away from that. I, I suggest everybody stay away from fluoride as much as possible. That is a nasty substance. My question was cracking fingertips 
And is it, what's lacking in our diet? Is it zinc? Um, uh, and- okay, good. Let's, let's talk about that. But let me just say something real quick. Fluoride's an essential element. So... You need fluoride. It's important for the bones. The problem is the forms of fluoride, the mineral fluoride, the, the, uh, the, the types of fluoride that are found in toothpaste are not the kind of fluoride that your body uses, but fluoride is an essential element. I want to be clear about that. Oh, correct. It, well, it, 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 it's the stuff that we're getting is a byproduct from... Um, right. Pesticides and aluminum and... Yeah, that's exactly right. So Oxygen. fluoride is an essential element, but just not the kind that you get in toothpaste or also in dental floss. Um, all right, so uh, cracking fingers, I regard that as an essential fatty acid issue. Uh, and also this has to do with the, the same kind of thing has to do with eczema. Now, it may also be related to problems absorbing fats and essential fats. So when you have it, it's the signs of essential fatty acid deficiency, which include eczema and cracking cracking fingertips or dried skin, it's not always, you can't just supplement your your way back to good health because absorption of fats is very tricky. I know we talk about this a lot, but it's really important. Absorption of water-soluble nutrients like the B-complex and, and vitamin C, that's not really as problematic as the absorption of your essential fatty acids, vitamins D, A, E, and K, and uh, also uh, also certain minerals like selenium and zinc. So you got to focus, if you have problems with cracking fingertips or eczema or alligator skin or any skin issues that are, that are associated with dryness, you want to, number one, get on your EFAs, uh, eat fatty foods, foods that contain essential fats, olives and avocados, and uh, I like coconut, uh, well, coconut oil doesn't have essential fats, so let's, let's scratch that for now. Uh, eggs are a good source of these essential fats. Um, fatty organ meats and fatty fish can have some essential fats in there. So making sure that you're getting essential fats from food and supplementation, as well as supplementing with vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and perhaps also 50 milligrams a day of zinc and maybe 400 to 600 micrograms a day of selenium. And then using probiotics, digestive enzymes, lecithin, bile salts, um, uh, apple cider vinegar with your meals, these can all support the absorption of fats. I would be, bottom line here, uh, John, I'd be regarding the fingertip issue as a fat issue and perhaps also minerals that are associated with fat processing at the digestive system level. Uh, John, I gotta take a break and I'll let you have the last word when we come back if you want to hold through through our break. Thanks for your call. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side, uh, talking to John in Michigan. Real quick, John, give you the last word here. What's going on? Uh, uh, Anything else you want to add? Dr. Ori, on your your website, I think, I mean, on your show, I think both of you would really have some great things. He has had a health food store attached to his business. Nice. His practice, and he's at eMineral.info for contact information. Why don't you, you, uh, if if you know who he is, uh, do you know him personally? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, why don't you ask him to give me a call or, or a, send me an email, ben at ksco.com. I definitely have one. Do you there. have a phone number he can contact you at? Just, yeah, he can, uh, he can call us here on the, right on the radio, 844 oh, well, he thing. He's got a practice. He got on Joyce Riley's show. Oh, I'd love to talk again. to him. I, I would love to talk to him. Or you can send me an email with his phone number at ben at ksco.com. Uh, but ben as far as your fingers, ben at ksco.com. K-S-C-O. And as far ksco.com as far as your fingers go look for other symptoms or whoever it is that's got the finger problem okay. look for other symptoms that'll give you some clues to what's going on in the body and then focus on fats and fat metabolism and i love i, I really appreciate when you call john you always got good things to oh, say god thank you so you much too, god bless you my friend take care all right uh, john in colorado uh, jim in colorado good morning jim how you doing buddy well could be doing better uh, okay. i called in probably a month ago and uh, I've got uh, a condition called pityriasis rubra yes, polaris. Yes, know about that. Yes. It's a skin rash. And uh, I'm trying to get on a ketogenic diet, but I so far haven't been really successful. I'm wondering um, how you do that. Okay, that's a good question. Uh, first of all, the ketogenic diet is well known as a high-fat diet, but what's not well known about the ketogenic diet is that it's not just high-fat, it's high-fat low-calorie. And that's the combination that's very important. You want to make sure you're keeping your calories down to a bare minimum, and you want to make sure that most of those calories, maybe 70 to 80% of those calories, are coming from fat. 
Uh, you want to be right. careful about protein because protein can get converted into sugar. So you want to keep the protein, it's hard to say exactly how much, but you want to keep the protein down to maybe 10 or 20, maybe 20% 20 of your calories, 15 to 20% of your calories coming from protein. And then the remainder, 5 to 10% coming from carbohydrates, which is not much at all. Uh, vegetable carbohydrates are always going to be best. Then you want to use nutrients that help the body process fats, as we talked about with, uh, with John earlier, apple cider vinegar, bile salts, digestive enzymes, probiotics. Uh, you want to make sure that you're focusing on how your body processes fats so that if you start to eat fats and you notice that you have belly aches or uh, loose stools or, or fatty stools, mm -hmm. those are all signs that you're not processing the fats correctly. Pyriasis, just for the listeners, uh, is just a, a kind of a red rash it looks almost like like a ringworm type of thing is that what yours looks like like a circular sort of circle circle redness no no kind of this thing? is this is i had it diagnosed that's the label they put on it okay. rash what, what does it look like what how does it what does it uh, look it's, like? is it's it rashy to toe. okay yeah yeah it's just totally uh it's a hundred percent over my body it's, okay, so uh, I'm losing my fingernails, too. Well, those are all bad signs here. Let me tell you how you work with this. And this is, this is kind of uh, similar to what our last caller, John, was talking about. You don't want to focus on the symptoms that are secondary. Skin issues are secondary. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Yeah, okay. That's where I'm These at. are secondary issues. Okay. So we got to get a picture of what's happening in your body. The primary issues are going to involve the digestive system and the blood sugar system. Nobody can treat the skin by itself. Unless you have one of these rare contact issues where something you're touching to the skin is causing a rash, but that's not what you that's not mm -hmm. how you're describing it. Something is percolating inside the body. The number one or maybe the only reason why these things occur is because of dirty blood. All right? So we got to figure out why is your blood dirty? The blood gets dirty unless you're uh, unless you're IV drug user or perhaps a cigarette smoke, you know, a cigarette smoker. Never. The main reason the blood gets dirty is the digestive system go to foods. Start looking for food problems. And the fact that it's now starting to affect your fingernails is not a good sign. So you really, 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 really want to start doing, a, you want to uh, do a, a swear V cleanse or a two or three day fast. Get on an elimination diet and look for problem foods. Jim, I'm guaranteeing you there is a digestive problem in there and you probably have had it for years because this sounds like it's, it's becoming more significant. So you've probably had well, this going on for a long time. Of, uh Candida. Well, that's all the same. All the same. It's all the same. Candida is also a secondary issue. And just like pityriasis or skin conditions, candida cannot be treated by itself. Anybody who's trying to sell you a candida cure, sell you a candida formula, sell you a magic medicine that kills candida doesn't understand the body. Candida follows a whacked out digestive system, particularly uh, dysbiosis, which is messed up gut bacteria. And it's, it's, it's just endemic. This is how we live our lives. This is based on the standard American diet and standard American lifestyle. It's impossible if you're a normal human being living in the United States of America or even anywhere in the world not to have some degree of dysbiosis, that is messed up gut bacteria. Although, Jim, it sounds like yours is somewhat significant. You want to do a, well, an I elimination? I've for uh, 18, 18 months, and I'm, I'm to the point now that uh, I'm... Uh, well, I'm looking at a place in Windsor that does functional medicine to help me. But you don't need it, Jim. To... Jim, you don't need it. You don't need any of this. I mean, you can do it. That's great. And, no, you know, I don't know the functional. I'm not a fan of functional medicine, as you know, probably. But okay. Yeah, I heard it, you talk about that. I'm not a fan of it at all because what it is, it's lazy. It's for doctors who don't understand the body, so they use tests. You don't need tests, Jim. You're the test. Your skin is the test. Your fingernails are the test. There's something messed up. So what you got to do is you got to start working backwards, troubleshooting. This is just how you do any. This is how you solve any engineering problem. You troubleshoot. You work backwards. So the the skin is you, you have a skin problem and a fingernail problem. That means something is getting into the blood. That means you got dirty blood. If you got dirty blood, you always backtrack to the digestive system. That means you eliminate. You want to do a. a a uh, fast or swear V cleanse, that's another way to do it. And then a food diary and elimination diet. You can start off with grains and dairy and eggs and peanuts and soy, soy and legumes. And uh, these are all likely suspects. Gluten, of course, is, is sometimes involved. Uh, that's a protein in grains, uh, as you probably know. And then once you start eliminating foods, you throw in all the digestive support supplements you could think of. And there's a ton of them. Jim, I got a, I got a bunch of calls I want to get to, but this should not be difficult, buddy. And it's very serious. How do I get a hold of you, Ben? Send an email to ben at kscom. 
com. Put your phone number in yeah. there and give me a few days because I'm, I'm way behind. But I'll get back yeah, to you like and to, you and I will work together. I'd like Thank to talk you. to you because I'm really needing your help. Thank we you. can take care of you. No problem, Jim. It's not difficult. All right. I got to move. Thank you, Jim. Good morning. Uh, have a good day. And we'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully. All right, uh, let's go to let's go to Mario, Mario, New Jersey, Paisan. Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on, brother? How you doing, Mario? Good to talk to you. Very good. Listen, I have um, my niece. I just started her in longevity with the makeup line because she just became a makeup artist. Okay. Now I I want you to just give give her a rundown on 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 the phone about. How bad regular makeup is for It's awful. For this. It's awful. I mean, regular I mean, you're makeup the far, is... You're the pharmacist. Tell her why it's so bad. Because, because you're sealing the skin up. You're sealing up the skin. Makeup, literally, that's its job, is to seal up the skin. Now, I don't want to go ripping on makeup, because I know ladies love makeup. So, I, you know, I got, I'm walking a fine line here. But from a skin perspective, you don't want to put stuff on your skin anyway that's going to stay on your skin except for vitamins that's why i came up with my two treatment products but certainly you don't want to seal it up and cover things up the the skin as a as a uh, a organ for adornment is based on uh, misunderstandings and non-understandings of the skin uh, from the uh, the days of ancient egypt Uh, even before then people painted their skin because we didn't know that the skin was not just a canvas that sits on the outside of the body. Today we know it's an organ. And any more, you wouldn't want to put stuff on your skin and leave it on there and cover it up and paint it any more than you'd want to do it to your liver or your lungs or your heart. Would she paint her liver? Would she paint her lungs? Would she paint her spleen or her heart or any other organ of the body? I mean, that's all yeah. you need to understand. You've got to think of the skin as an organ of the body. Put things on the skin that the skin can use, but don't put things on the skin that are just going to sit there and cover things up. The skin's got to transfer gases. It's a, a route of, of excretion. It's like your third kidney. It really doesn't serve any, but any purpose to, to paint the skin. Now, if you do wear makeup, use mineral makeup. Longevity's got a great mineral makeup, and that's nutritional. No, actually, it's not nutritional, but at least it's not toxic. And then get everything off your skin when you don't need it. Uh, and that includes sunscreen, by the way. All right, Mario. All right. God bless you, my friend. Have a beautiful day. Carl in uh, uh, Carl, the Truth Raider. You get the Morning, last ben. word. We only got about a minute, Carl. What's going on, man? I had this bizarre. I was nothing going wrong in my life, but I had this bizarre desire. Not a thought process, but it was subconscious. Not in my regular conscious, but... You got to go quick, Carl. Nine, We're running out of time. Floor, I was on the ninth floor of a hotel room two years ago, about April 2015, and I had this desire to run and jump out the window. Well, that's not good. I told you about the imp of the perverse, right? <laughs> that's right, and that's uh, you, called, the did, death, it's called the death drive. Did you look into it, the imp I of the perverse? I looked into Edgar Allan Poe is one yep, of the writers. Yep, Edgar Allan Poe. That's exactly right. So, uh, yeah, did, did it match up with what you were talking about? A little bit, but I uh, just got to figure out. Uh, after that, I had it as, you know, anytime I see anything that, that has a documentary about somebody jumping out the window, I get this terrific fear. This panic comes over Carl, me. I'd love to talk more about that. you got to call me back tomorrow because we only got about 20 seconds. Uh, but that's a great, uh, that's a very interesting subject. The imp of the perverse. If you call back tomorrow, we can, we can talk about it. We're out of time, Carl. Thanks for your call, man. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.